What I really like about West London Free School is the opportunities it gives you and that it's a unique and new school, it's not like any others. Um, I'm really proud to be part of the West London Free School because I, I would, I would hear, hear about it on the news and in a newspaper and I'm just like, oh, I go to that school. The teachers definitely do inspire us here. They are like really passionate about their subject. The ethos of the school is a classical liberal education for all peoples of all abilities. And what that means is that we focus on the traditional disciplines, English, mathematics, sciences, the arts and humanities. And from this, pupils can develop a clear and substantive knowledge of the world around them. Albert, um, possibly Marvin in the front row. <coughs> so Seth next to Marco. Right. <laughs> music curriculum um, because I never really did music and then when I got to this school I learnt that you know there's a lot more to music than just learning an instrument it's composing it's the rhythm it's you know listening to your teacher and things like that so I just really learned to enjoy it. The thing that is particularly valuable about our approach to music is the value we place on lots of different kinds of music. So we have a bands club four evenings a week for each year group so that those rock and pop musicians can develop as guitarists and bass players and can um, develop their oral skills so that they become the sort of musicians that can either play in a band, go on to do a pop music degree if they wish to. Well, at the same time, we have an orchestra and we have a choir that does classical music. I think music is one of the subjects along with sport which at the heart of a school can make it a really wonderful place to learn because music and sport not only help you progress um, as a musician, as a sports player, but um, they help you to work in teams, they help you to uh, learn to express yourself, they help you to bond with other people um, in a particularly strong way. So sport at Western and Free School is really up and coming. Uh, we offer a broad and balanced curriculum. In PE, we offer um, such activities such as fitness, fitness training, table tennis, basketball. Um, at the moment behind me, we have a games afternoon where we predominantly do hockey as our main sport, but we also do rowing and, and rugby for the boys. I've been pushing since year seven to get football. Everyone has, and they just got in now, so I'm quite happy about that. I do a lot of hockey in school and they give us the option to go outside and instead of doing a club in school we're allowed to go out and do different clubs. So I do tennis outside school and for my GCSE PE. I like PE, it's probably one of my favourite subjects, not just because of the sports, uh, the theory as well. I think sport is essential. I think firstly it helps people to uh, develop uh, a sense of dedication, that dedication is transferable to their academic studies. It also means that pupils are physically fit and from that they feel fresh and ready to learn when they come into class the next day. And I really, really admire about this school the fact that there isn't an excuse for any student not to achieve their target grades, not to achieve their potential. Um, and all of the teachers at the school within every single department would go above and beyond looking to make sure that their students achieve. It's really important for every people to reach the highest level um, because we are living in a society where it's getting more and more competitive to get jobs, to, to get on the right university courses, to go to college. It's really important to me to make every people achieve their highest possible level because 
when they leave school they won't be able to have another chance to do their GCSEs, AS levels, A levels and I want them all to leave thinking that's the grade I deserve, that's the grade that I worked really hard for and they don't look back with any regrets. The students at West London Free School have a very clear understanding of, of all their subject areas. In particular for, for English, it's evident you walk into any classroom up and down, the, you know, in, in any English classroom and in there you'll find students who are self-conscious and they are aware that they are part of a part of a learning process that they will that they will, like I said before, they will use and utilise the rest of their lives. They're very, very focused. Well most of the teachers came from very high universities, so I think I personally aspire to be a bit like them, go to great colleges and universities and generally do well. We share a very clear common goal, that's to teach an exceptionally high level and to impart knowledge upon pupils very authoritatively. This means that teachers are subject specialists, they know how to assess for knowledge and they have a real keen, keen sense of dedication towards all pupils achieving exceptionally high results.